Hi there, Alakar J here with a new video series. This one is going to be focused on programming and making games in Unity 3D. And I want to try and help a lot of the newcomers to Unity, people that have very little or no programming experience. I'm going to cover some of the basics of some of the terms that are used, so you can get familiar with them, and then learn to read scripts for yourself and write scripts for yourself. I'll be presenting some things that I learnt while teaching myself in the past 12 months and showing some things that I wish I knew before some other things just to make the learning much easier. So, is this slender again? Well, the answer is both yes and no. I'm probably going to do about two different projects in this series. The first one, for the people that are already subscribed and why the video has actually started, we will be doing a slender clone. But I would like to think for everyone that you could do every single video, pick something up and write your own game that is not a slender clone and still get something from it. As I said, I want to be showing you ways of making scripts that are flexible. With a couple of different variables, they can do lots of different things and be used over and over again in different projects. If you write something once and well, why write it again? So, I've got to cover you a couple of essentials that we're going to be constantly referring to in this guide. And this is the Unity script reference and the Unity user manual. Now, first I'll show you how to store a bookmark to your local reference to your documentation. For PC users, if you didn't change the install directory of Unity, it should be in C drive, program files, or for 64 bit users, x86, Unity. For Mac, I did have a look, and I'm sorry, the closest I found was if you know where you can find your applications folder or directory. If you can find your applications and then find Unity installed in there. Now within the Unity install folder, you'll find an editor folder, double click on that, and then you'll find a data folder, double click on that. And then you'll find the documentation folder, double click on that, and then you'll see the documentation web page. So double click on that and you should see Welcome to Unity. Now immediately we want to bookmark this page. Okay, right there where you can find it nice and easy for all these videos. So what we have here is all the information that comes with this unit. We have the user manual. We can see there's a lot of information presented immediately. We can look at some of the basics, learning the interface. Okay, so this will tell you all about Unity. What it looks like, what these different windows are for. And now you know where it is, you can certainly read this at your own leisure. Now, the next link that we're going to be using constantly, more than the user manual, is the scripting reference. We click on that, and we should come to the scripting reference overview screen. Immediately, we're going to bookmark that. Okay? The easy reference. Now, of course, both these pages are available online. Considering two factors, I'm using Unity 3.5, so I want the scripting reference that is relative to my version of Unity. Unity Online will give you the scripting reference for Unity 4.0, because that is the latest and greatest version of Unity. And the second consideration is sometimes it's much quicker to search on your local drive. The powers of be that are working on the world locally it is quicker to search on your machine. And you can always go to the online scripting reference for clarity and verification. Okay, so where are those online? So in your web browser, type in Unity documentation and click the first link, hopefully, in the documentation. And here is the equivalent to our bookmark, but online. You can see here we have the scripting reference. And here we have exactly the same the Unity scripting reference and the main page of scripting overview. So I have a bookmark for my offline scripting reference and my online scripting reference. Always cross check and verify. I'm confident that the things I'll be showing in this first video series will be applicable to Unity 4 or later versions because I'm dealing with basic scripts and we're going to deal with a lot of logic and structure. Okay, so before I carry on, we'll leave it there. We now have two new bookmarks, possibly three or four new bookmarks. We have our local documentation. We have our online documentation. We 
have our local script reference. We have our online script reference. Okay, see you on the next video.